Hello everyone this is my next video today i'm going to explain with code question number 234 palindrome linked list basically the palindrome means if you are reading forward and backward should be have same okay that we will tell it is a palindrome given the end of single linked list written true if it is a palindrome or false otherwise okay so they given single linked list we need to return true if it is a palindrome or is false okay see in example 1 1 2 2 1 and if you are reading backward means 1 2 2 1 so it is a palindrome so we are returning true in example 2 see they given two notes 1 2 if you are reading forward if you are reading backward means 2 1 it is not a palindrome so we are returning the false and the constant they given you can could you do this problem in big one of big one split yeah we can solve in big one split let's we can see proper in whiteboard okay see in this example 2 is connected to 4 and 4 is connected to 5 and 5 is connected to 4 4 is connected to 2 and 2 is connected to 0 so this is the palindrome or not if you want to find means if you just if we read this in reverse it should be the same as forward then we will tell it is a palindrome this is an example one in example 2 see 1 is connected to 2 2 is connected to 3 3 is connected to 4 if you are reading in reverse means 4 will be connected to 3 3 will be connected to 2 2 will be connected to 1 this is not a palindrome Okay. What I am using the logic, I will show you. First, what I am doing, I will find the middle of the linked list. Okay, middle of the linked list. To find the middle of the linked list, we are taking two pointers. One is slow and fast. Fast is pointing two steps, and slow is pointing one step. Okay. Now my slow will be pointing by one step. My fast will be pointing to two step. Okay. Next iteration, my slow will be pointing by one step. My fast will be pointing to two step. This will work until my first of next should be not equal to null and first of is should be not equal to null. Until that, it will work. Now we are find it because first is first of next is null. So we find it the middle node. This is our middle node. Okay. Second step, we need to reverse the second part of linked list. Okay. We find that this is the uh, middle node. This will be the first link, first part of linked list. This will be second part of linked list. Okay. We need to reverse. After it reversing, it will be two will point into four. Now we will take two pointers. One is P one and P two. P one will pointing as ed, and P two will be act as previous. I will check P P one value and P two value are same. If they are same, means I will move to the next end. Okay. See here, P one and P two are same, so my P one will be pointing to four, and my two P two will be pointing to four. Yeah, these two are same. Okay, now my P one will be pointing to five, and P two will be pointing to null. When it will come null, and all the values are P one and P two are same, means we are returning true, and it is a palindrome. Okay, that is the logic I am using. Now we can discuss the second example. Slow and fast will be pointing to the end. Okay. My slow will be moved by one step. My fast will be moved by two step. See, when it is fast of next is equal to none, we are stopping. Now our middle node will be this two. Okay. Now we are reversing this. Okay. One, two. After reversing, it is visible. Four, three. It is pointing to none. Okay. Now we are taking P one and P two. P1 is pointing to year ed and P2 is pointing to previous node. We are checking the value. P1 value and P2 value are same. No, directly we are returning it is a false. Okay, this is the logic. Now we can enter into the coding part. If we given function is palindrome, we pass it the ed node. This is a list node type. Okay, we are returning boolean type. Okay, this is the base condition. If there is a if there is no node and only one node means we are returning true. For example, see two. We are returning it is a palindrome. As that is the uh, base condition. Okay. Now after words, we are taking two pointers. One is slow and fast. Both are pointing to your end. If the condition is correct, means my slow will move by one step and my fast will move by two step. This logic will work for to find the middle linked list. Okay. Yeah. This logic is used for to find the reverse linked list. We are doing in the second part of the linked list. We are reversing. For that we are using this logic. Okay, we are taking two pointers, current and previous. Previous will be set to null pointer and current is set to slow. This will work when my current should be not equal to null. I will declaring on list node of next. It will pointing to current next. My previous value will be stored in current next. Then my previous will act as current. My current will be act as next. Okay, this 
we are using for to reverse the linked list after that i taking two pointers one is p1 and p2 p1 is pointing to it and p2 is pointing to previous this will work when my p2 should be not equals to null then we will check the condition p1 value and p2 value are same if they are same means we are updating our p1 to p1 next and p2 to p2 next if not we are returning directly false after completion if we are all the values of traversed we are finally we are returning it is true how it is going to work let's we can try run now let's we can try run see if it is not equals to it and not equals to it of next yeah this is there is a end now my slow and fast both are pointing to end my slow will and fast are both are pointing to this end my slow will move by one step my fast will move by two step my slow will be move by one step it pointing to two my fast will be pointing by two step it pointing to three yeah the condition is true so my slow will be move by one step my fast will be move by two step see so now fast of next is null so we are finding the middle node of the linked list okay first part first step we are completed now second step is that we need to find the reverse linked list of the second part after reversing the second part it will be visible like one will be pointing to two two will be pointing to three and three will be pointing to one and one will be pointing to two okay this is the reversed of the second part now what we are doing we are p1 is pointing to end and p2 is pointing to previous okay this is our p2 now we are checking the p1 value and p2 value are same if they are same means our p1 will be pointing to the next node p2 will be pointing to the next node now we are checking p1 value and p2 value yeah these are same these are same means we are returning true or else no if this is p1 and this is p2 p1 value and p2 value are matching yeah now our p1 will be moved to next end now p2 will be moved to next now my p1 will be pointing to this three my p2 will be pointing to null when our p2 will reaches the null then we will stop to iterate the condition finally we are returning it is a true okay this is the and try now this example let's we can run the code now yeah this is accepted let's we can understand the time complexity and space complexity of this logic the time complexity is taking a big of n see this is taking big of n by 2 because we are using a first pointer it will move by one step so it takes big of n by 2 and we are using here to find the reverse linked list we are using only the second part of linked list so it is taking big of n by 2 in this while loop also we are taking big of n by 2 because we are comparing first of linked list with the second of linked list so it is taking big of n by 2 overall it is taking big of n when it comes to the space complexity it is taking big of 1 because we are not using any extra space it takes only the constant amount let's we can submit the code now. yeah this is accepted thank you guys for watching my video if you like this video please like